Well, I went to the strip thrift store and I came back with a keyboard. Not just any keyboard. This is a Videonix keyboard. Yeah, that probably means nothing. I think it went to like a, a 1980s or 90s titler for television broadcasting. However, some may notice the distinct labeling. The G at the beginning, the 80 indicating the switches, because this is a mechanical keyboard. Baird. I said that weird. It's a mechanical keyboard, and um, that German right there, and that saying that it was made in West Germany tells me... Come on, everybody, you should know this. Answer before me. Tells me it was made by the Cherry Corporation. And when I pull off a key, you can clearly see that it was made by the Cherry Corporation. And I can show you that the whole board was, too. Because it's very easy to take apart. Just give me two seconds, I'll snap the back, and it comes right up. Okay, so I just unsnap the top and pull it forward and it comes right off. And you can see here, it's a nice black board, all of it one piece. Three LED lights stick up from the bottom board, which I struggle to find its purpose. I mean, I know what it does, but I struggle to find out why they put the LEDs on the bottom board rather than the top. And so I'll take off this. It actually just folds back because ribbon cables. Hold it to this board with an EF680 oh, oh sorry, 685U3P chip. Uh, a whole bunch of resistors. What looks to be a diode or a capacitor. Can't really tell there. I'm gonna go with diode. Um, another more resistors. And that logo, the Cherry logo, indicating that this entirely was a Cherry production. And the date codes that are imprinted on this plastic, I don't know how to read. So, <laughs> I'm just going to say it was made sometime in the 80s. I'm rather sure it was. Anyway, yeah, it's for a titler, and hence no Windows key or command key of any sort. Um, strange arrow key and insert slash no, in, insert through print screen keys are usually above the arrow keys and keyboards are generally a little wider so but yeah it's got all the normal keys on there nothing fancy or frilly about it it's a really nice keyboard to type on because it's got those mechanical keys that everybody loves I don't know the IBM Model M's cool I think these cherry keyboards are just a pleasure to type on though I have a couple of them now snap this back together. It doesn't, it's not too hard to actually get back together at all. And now it's fully snapped back together. And you'll notice on the top of it here, it's got this, and I'm not sure if you can read that, but it says ATPC, meaning you can use it on both models. Um, it works in the AT, mo uh, in the AT switch uh, position for most computers, and my really old IBM PS2, it'll work on either the AT or the PC position. So, yeah, not really sure what the PC position is symbolizing. I don't really know what it means in this case since I haven't used it on anything different. I mean, I know the old IBM PCs, but um, I, I didn't know that they were functionally any different keyboard-wise. As you can see, I had to uh, couple the old connector. It's an old MIDI style plug. And that goes into, whoops, I'm almost dropping shit again. Got too many projects on my desk to use it right now. And it goes into this, and that goes into one of those. Oh, come on, focus. And I will make it bigger. You shall focus. I know you guys know what a PS2 connection looks like. I'm just trying to force my camera into being useful. Fine, I will put it down here. Now it's in focus, isn't it? 
because everything near it's in focus. Fine, be that way. I don't care. I don't need clear video. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now you're focused. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm done fighting with the camera. Anyway, so yeah, it's Videonics branded, however it is a cherry keyboard. And it sounds absolutely beautiful to type on. There's its model number and everything. Used it on my desktop a couple of times, it only has the minimum of lights. And, yeah. Got all the keys, they all... Played some games on already. It's just a really nice keyboard. It's even got the, uh... It's even got the nice little stabilizers on the side so you don't torque the key off by pushing it in the wrong position. But yeah, this is a this is one of my better thrift store finds as of late. Haven't been going too often, but when I have been, I've been pretty lucky. I was just looking through keyboards, thinking ah, I might find something cool. Sometimes they put stuff that isn't a keyboard under the keyboards to hide it. Not the people that work there, just other people that are milling around. And so I decided to dig under them and. Yeah. Strangely, uh, my face detection on my camera sees the numlock key as a face, so it keeps focusing on it. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so yeah, that is the Videonics slash Cherry keyboard. And I guess you can hear me type on it really quickly if you'd like. Um, I don't really have any way to hold my camera, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my mouth. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I will probably just see if I can get it to sit on something for me. One second. Hmm. I don't want to sit on that. Um, you know what? I'm just going to set it down. I will show pictures of the keyboard as I am typing. It looks beautiful. that, if it will focus. And that is the Videonix Cherry Keyboard. Hope you enjoyed this great thrift store find. Um, I do have some more, I just haven't uh, had the time to upload them. So, yep, there you go.